Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Pag-usapan natin ang derivatives of trigonometric functions. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. So the following are the derivatives of the different trigonometric functions. Una, kung meron tayong sin x as the function, ang derivative niya ay cosine x. And then we multiply it to the derivative of the angle or nung x. Kung cosine x naman yung kinukuha na natin ang derivative, it's equal to the negative of sin x multiply to the derivative of x. For a tangent, it's equal to second squared x dx. We also have the derivative of cotangent. It is equal to negative cosecant squared x multiplied to the derivative of x. Kung kinukuha naman natin yung derivative ng second x, it's equal to second x times tangent x times the derivative of the angle x. And finally, when we are dealing with cosecant x and its derivative is equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x times the derivative of the angle x. Ia-apply natin itong mga derivatives na to sa mga examples dito sa ating lecture at iba-iba na yung kanilang angle. Let's have the first given. We have f of x equal to cosine of 6x squared minus 4x. Let's differentiate that. So we have f prime of x. Oh, by the way, gagamitin natin din dito yung ating knowledge about chain rule. I-interpret kasi natin ito as ang outer function niya ay yung cosine, tapos yung inner function niya ay itong 6x squared minus 4x. So, sabi sa chain rule, yung derivative muna ng outer. Ang derivative ng cosine is negative sine. And then, we copy the angle, 6x squared minus 4x. Then, we multiply it to the derivative of the angle. So, that is negative sine of this angle times... Derivative ng 6x squared, that is 12x, and then negative 4. So, itong answer natin dito, ilalagay natin siya sa unahan ng sign kasi sa sign siya nakamultiply. Hindi siya nakamultiply sa angle. So, we have here negative of 12x minus 4 times sine of 6x squared minus 4x. This is already considered the final answer. Or, what we can do yung negative ay i-distribute pa sa mga terms. So, may parenthesis pa rin yun kapag ganun. Negative 12x plus 4 times the sine of 6x squared minus 4x. Next, for example number 2, we have tangent squared of 5x. So, dito naman, ang gawin natin, yung squared ay ilabas muna natin. So, dahil tayo ay na naka-exponent na 2, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang derivative, again, gagamit tayo ng chain rule, yung 2 ibababa natin. Yung tangent, i-remain ire natin yan, tangent 5x. The exponent will now be 2 minus 1 times the derivative nung nasa loob. Ang derivative ng tangent ay second squared 5x. So, isulat natin dito, second squared, kasi yun yung derivative ng tangent, tapos yung angle. Tapos, itong derivative pa ng 5x, that's 5. So, i-multiply natin yung 2 at yung 5. That will be 10. And then, this is tangent 5x. And then, this is second squared 5x. 
This is already considered the final answer. Pero para makasure, yung tangent at yung second i-express natin in terms of sine and cosine. Recall, from pre-calculus na ang tangent may identity na involved. Now, recall that tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x. And second x is equal to 1 over cosine x. So, kung isi-simplify pa natin in terms of sine and cosine, we have 10 multiplied to sine of 5x over cosine ng 5x. And then, we have here second squared that is 1 over cosine squared ng 5x. Yung dalawang cosine mamumultiply pa. Cosine 5x and cosine squared, that will be cosine cubed ng 5x. And for the numerator, we have 10 sine ng 5x. Any of the two answers are correct? Pareho lang naman sila ng magiging value. Next, for number 3, meron tayong negative 5 sine x minus cosine of 1 minus 7x. So, involved tayo dito ng basic rule na sum and difference. So, kuhanin natin separately yung derivative ng first at ng second term. Tapos, isubtract natin sila afterwards. So, since this is just 5, it will remain as 5. Yung sine x, ang derivative ng sine ay cosine x. And then, ang derivative ng x, it's just 1. Dito naman sa minus, tapos yung cosine, ang derivative ng cosine ay negative sine. Tapos, kopyahin natin yung angle, and then yung derivative ng angle. Ang derivative ng 1 ay 0. Ang derivative ng negative 7x ay negative 7. And then we simplify. This will be 5 cosine x. Tapos, negative times negative is positive, pero may negative pa dito. So, it still be negative. Negative 7 sine of 1 minus 7x. Wala na tayong maa-add further, kaya yun na yung ating final answer for number 3. Next, we have... Quotient rule naman ang involved dito kasi naka-divide. I will be pausing for 10 seconds. Subukan yung gamitan ito ng quotient rule dahil rational function yung involved. And then after 10 seconds, i-reveal natin yung correct answer. So we have f prime of x. Sabi sa quotient rule, we have low derivative of the high minus high derivative of the low. All over low squared. So, meron tayong 1 minus cosine x. Ang derivative ng cosine x ay negative sine x. Then, we have here cosine x. So, ang derivative ng 1 minus cosine x, sige, derivative ng 1, it's 0 minus. Ang derivative ng cosine x ay negative sine x. So, the answer here, negative and negative, it will just be positive. So, this is sine x all over 1 minus cosine x squared. So, itong sine x ay i-distribute natin. Magiging negative sine x. Negative times negative, it will be positive. Sine x cosine x. 
And we have here negative sine x cosine x. This will be cancelled out kasi magkaiba sila ng sign. Tapos of course yung ating denominator. The numerator is now negative sine x and yung ating denominator ay 1 minus cosine x na naka-squared. And this is already the final answer for example number 4. Kahit i-expand pa natin yung denominator using square of binomial and uh, mag-simplify pa tayo kung meron man, uh, it will still arrive with this answer. So, ganyan tayo gumamit ng iba't ibang theorems kasama ng theorem about the derivatives of trigonometric functions. Again, careful pa rin sa pag-multiply at sa pag-add.